What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going from Los Angeles north to Glendale. It's a pretty short drive and it's 9.30 a.m. So we, sh we shouldn't really hit too much traffic, I would imagine. Let's see how Autopilot does in today's morning commute in Los Angeles traffic. Thanks for watching another video, guys. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I picked up this Model 3 almost six months ago now, and I make videos about my experience, including a weekly autopilot video in Los Angeles traffic. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. All right, so we just got onto the highway on the 110 North or the 101 North, and of course there is a little bit of traffic. Let's go ahead and merge into the lanes, and then we'll throw an autopilot. I know that we're going to be going to the left here to get on to the 110 towards Pasadena. So I'm going to try and get a couple lanes over and then throw it on all apply. So let's just start in this lane so it doesn't have to go through too much lane changes and hesitation. Okay, a little bit of braking there. That was a uh, pretty uh, uh, pretty late, I guess. The car braked in front of us and then we braked right after that. Autopilot's not recommending that we go into the left lane just yet, so we'll just stay into this lane. Going about 20 miles an hour. It's uh, 71 degrees in Los Angeles. Bright, sunny day, clear. Uh, and this is version 10.2, 2020.4.1. It's the latest version as of February of 2020. A little bit of traffic, not too much at all, actually. Cruising about 28 miles an hour. Ooh, looks like there was just a car accident, or it looks like they've been in car accident for a little bit. That looks like nothing, they didn't even tap each other. All right, so now the highways are opening up. Cruise control speed is set at 70 miles an hour. Autopilot is taking its while to speed up. The car in front of us is like, the car in front of us has tons of gaps, so we are just slowly increasing speed. There's typically a ton of traffic right here, so it's pretty interesting that there's none going to the right. It's not necessarily because of that car accident, because there was there would have been a block up before. So this is very weird traffic in Los Angeles. I think actually these past few days has been pretty light as I've traveled around. I wonder if it's because everybody wants to just stay home and they don't want to go out because of like the coronavirus or something. So we're going 70 miles an hour. We do need to get in the left lane some at some point. So I'm wondering when Autopilot is going to make the recommendation. The exit is coming up in 1.3 miles and it still hasn't made the recommendation just yet. But we're going 56 miles an hour, 57 miles an hour, pacing the car in front of us pretty well. Uh, there's a car to our left, no cars in our right, right lane. The left lane is completely wide open and it still hasn't made the recommendation just yet. The exit is still coming up in a mile. We're kind of running out of time here. Wonder when, at what point autopilot is going to make the recommendation or the to get into the left lane. Okay, and nope, that was to adjust the steering wheel. 0.7 miles. Uh, this lane does not go into the I-5, which is the exit we need to go in, so I wonder what it's thinking. It's not making the lane change at all. Now we're going 45 miles an hour. Still haven't gone. Now there's a car into our left lane, so it, it would inhibit us to get into the left lane smoothly. I guess it looks like both of these lanes go left, so we could stay in this lane to go into the I-5. So that's probably why it's not making the recommendation to go to the left. Okay, Navigate on autopilot has turned off now. But I think we're still going to follow the lane to the left. Let's see. Nope, and I don't think that was gonna go left. So I just took over at the last minute, went to the left lane, and now we're on the exit. So. That was pretty interesting. I thought Autopilot was going to go to the left, but at the last second, I doubted it. So I just took over and just made the left exit for it. But I guess Navigate on Autopilot turned itself off, so then it wasn't going to follow the lane anymore. Even though I feel like I've taken that highway exit with Auto Navigate on Autopilot on, and it's made that turn for me. So that was very interesting. I think I do have to be in the left lane for it to follow the exit. Whereas since I was on, I was in the second to the lane from the left, it didn't want to make the left lane for me. All right, so we're in some traffic right now, going 20 miles an hour. We've merged onto the I-5. Looks like we're gonna get off at the Glendale Boulevard exit in 2.5 miles. 
Okay, so autopilot's shifting a little bit within this lane because it's detecting, because the lanes from the right merged into this lane, so the lane is a little bit wide. So I don't know if you can see it, but the steering wheel was like shifting to the left, shifting to the right, because it was trying to adjust to be in be in the perfect center part of the lane. Uh, but now it's merged completely, so we're in this lane, but it looks like we're merging again into another lane, so let's see what happens here. So autopilot likes to really stay next to the cars in front of us or to the left of us, but it looks like it's doing this merge pretty smoothly. Did slow down a little bit to let the car go in front, and we are in the lane now. As a human driver, you could probably close that gap a little bit more, but the, the autopilot likes to keep a small, um, a bigger gap than I would preferably. That was probably like a one and a half car length. I would probably be right in front of, right next to the Macan uh, or right behind the Macan in that highway merge. So going 26 miles an hour, all the way in the right lane on the highway, just pacing the car in front of us. Autopilot hasn't really had any glitches on this drive except for that one. I don't know if that was a glitch where it didn't want to go into the highway. It uh, just went straight through. I diverted it to the left. So now Autopilot wants to get into the left lane to follow the route. The highway exit is in two miles. So let's see how far we can go down this lane because I think this lane goes onto the next highway on-ramp and so it doesn't necessarily follow the route that it wants to go to get off at the exit. So let's, at some point, let's, let's trigger on the left ticker to confirm autopilot to get into the left lane. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. There is a car in that lane. It's a, about a one car length behind, but autopilot found the gap and it made it, made it into the lane. Okay, so we're just pacing traffic right now, going 20 miles an hour, not the slowest. The exit's coming up in 1.3 miles. We're in the perfect lane to be in to get off of the exit, I would imagine. Uh, just pacing these trucks in front of us, increasing speed. We're increasing speed to a little bit higher at 25 miles an hour. We really don't expect Autopilot to really glitch anymore on this drive because it's pretty straightforward. It's going straight into this lane and then getting off at the next exit. So we're just pacing it while we drive around all these trucks on this highway. Okay, so 0.7 miles to the exit coming up on the right. There is a lane coming up to merge up with us on the right side. So let's see how Autopilot figures this section out. We're just pacing a truck in front of us going 28 miles an hour. Some of these cars, or maybe we have to get into that right then. Okay, so we don't, that lane actually doesn't merge with us. We do have to get into that lane. So let's go ahead and trigger the lane change. And pretty smoothly. So now it's just waiting to smooth up, uh, to speed up pretty slowly. Now we're at 34, 38, 40 miles an hour, passing some of these cars. I do remember in the last version, Autopilot would just like speed up pretty quickly, but now with the adjacent lane speed adjustments, it tries to keep pace with the lanes to the left, even though like there's a huge gap in front of us. So I do believe there's probably some sort of middle ground in which we could aggressively speed up faster and pace the cars to the left, but that would probably be in one of the next updates. All right, so we're about to get off the exit here. I'm going to turn off autopilot and get off of the exit. Thanks for watching another video, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like and also hit that subscribe if you want to see more Tesla content. And comment below on what you thought of this quick autopilot video through Los Angeles traffic. It was pretty standard. Really no glitches, I would imagine, that I could fault autopilot for. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.